This is Dr. Raja Kanamadakanan. Welcome to my lecture videos. Today we are going to see about top 5 quality gurus. Who are they? These quality gurus have given so many quality control techniques and quality management principles to improve the quality in industries, institutions, health sector and so many. First quality guru I am going to give Edwards Deming. He is a USA based statistician and a quality control engineer. He was got influenced by Walter A. Schuert who has given quality control charts. I think you might have heard quality control charts, X bar chart, R chart and so many. The father of quality control chart is W. A. Shivan. This Edward Deming got a lot of influence by Walter A. Shivan, and then after that, he developed some of the concepts who was given by Shivan. Deming used to say PDCA cycle given by Shivan. What is PDCA cycle? So, this one we will see in the next slide. You see, uh, about uh, William Edward Deming, he was born in 1900 and died in 1993. Almost he lived uh, 93 years. He is perhaps best known for the plan do check act cycle, popularly named after him. Actually, he modified plan do check and act cycle after that. Plan do study act cycle, PDSA cycle. So that's also I will tell. After 1950, that means after Second World War, he moved from USA to Japan. Japan. In Japan, he did a lot of revolution in quality control area. He developed a lot of uh, quality control management techniques. He designed many tools for quality control. And uh, he joined with many of the industries and then he has given uh, consultancy for many companies to improve quality of the product. You see here, this is the photograph of uh, uh, Edward Deming and then he has given many quality control concepts in uh, Ford company. You see here, this is the Deming philosophy. Deming philosophy is plan, do, check and act. So we used to call it as this is Deming cycle. Before we are going to implement something, we have to plan and after that, we have to do what are the requirements for that and then after that, check. Check means what? We have to do inspection. But after some uh, research inside uh, this PDCA cycle, Deming formulated PDSA cycle. What is that PDSA cycle? Plan, do, study and act. PDSA cycle. Check means mostly we are giving importance only to inspection. But when you are going to study, more and more will come and then after that if you are going to act, so that time only it will give a very high quality product. This is what Deming believed after doing some research in the PDCA cycle. See that he has given uh, some quality policies. So, I have given some important points from his uh, quality policy. Create constancy of uh, purpose for uh, improving products and services. Adopt the new policy. Cease the dependence of inspection to achieve quality. Here only he developed a PDSA cycle. Why? Because cease dependence on inspection. If you are going for PDCA cycle, the check and act. Checking is mostly inspection. But here, cease dependence on inspection to achieve quality. End the practice of avoiding business on price alone. Don't give practice by avoiding some price alone. Instead of that, minimize the total cost by working with a single supplier. Improve constantly and forever every process for planning, production and service. Institute training on the job. When a engineer or worker is coming to work and give a proper training and also adopt the institute leadership. 
see the first seven concept he has given and also another seven concepts are drive out fear see whether this product will give better quality or not if you are having some oscillation when you are going to implement some quality in a product or process then definitely it will not give some end product this is the reason he has given drive out fear break down barriers between staff areas see if there is some ego between two engineer or two department and there will be a chance of less quality see i may tell my concept is a good good concept and you may tell your concept is good concept by the time there is a chance of conflict and this one it will lead less quality so this is what he has given break down barriers between staff areas eliminate slogan exhaust stations and target for the workforce see when you are going to give target and when you are going to force again and again today you supposed to finish this target means the quality will come down this is what they mean believe and eliminate numerical codes numerical numbers this one you supposed to do a uh, thousand number of uh, products you supposed to finish within one hour so these are all it will reduce the quality see that eliminate numerical codes for the workforce and numerical goals for the management remove barriers that rob people of pride of workmanship and eliminate the annual rating merit system so this one it will give a uh, sweetness to many people you see here nowadays in corporate companies people are doing some merit system but he is not believing in the merit system or performance rating in the so on. you see here eliminate the annual rating or merit system and institute a vigorous program of education so he has given more importance to education education and self improvement for everyone when you are going to work in a company if you are thinking only on the welfare of the company by the time one time you will be frustrated why because there is no self improvement so education system suppose one corporate company is giving opportunity to study that time you will get some self satisfaction work people will get some self satisfaction because of that reason it will improve the performance see put everyone in the company to work accomplishing and the transformation so he is believing some transformation so this is demi has given this 14 points to apply in industry to improve the quality of products and process still the world is following this demi's 14 points and also demi said the next quality guru i am introducing joseph m juran you see here he lived 103 years he was born in 1904 and he died in 2008 he is a big business consultant his occupation is engineer he is also us based there quality engineer he introduced it, juran triology what is mean by juran triology you see here the first one is quality planning so the same thing plan do check and act but he has given in different dimension quality planning is very important and then after that quality control is very very important quality control means what control the features which are affecting the quality of the product so this is very important and after quality control you are how to think always about the quality improvement this is what he has given see joseph moses juran actually he was a romanian born american management consultant and engineer you see here he has given in quality planning identify the external customer he believes that customer satisfaction is most important for quality see he has given identify external customer identify the internal customers identify needs of external customer identify needs of internal customer translate the needs into specification see what is our need what is the customer need first of all we have to understand and then after that we have to develop the specification of a product then only the product will become a high quality product and that will satisfy the customer need you see here he has given in quality control 
who are all the element which is affecting the quality so you supposed to identify and after that you have to control then establish measurement program see when you are going to implement some quality control before that you supposed to measure controlling of the which feature we have to control so establish a measurement program establish the standard of the performance which standard i want we supposed to understand so you have to understand what will be the outcome of the product or what will be the outcome of the process so establish the standard of performance and measure actual performance what is the actual performance and then what performance we have to achieve and measure the variation between that means you have to compare the actual performance with the established standard that means which one we are going to focus which one the present performance both of them you have to compare and then after that where we have to travel so this one we supposed to understand this is given by zuran and also he has given in the quality improvement some of the points you see here identify the opportunities see what are the opportunities for the improvement if there is no opportunities it is very difficult to improve in the present car suppose if we are going to uh, introduce the flying uh, uh, features see my car it has to fly means it's very difficult see what are the opportunities are there in the present product for the improvement this one you have to understand and you have to develop and then after that get management commitment see management has to invest management should have some interest in improving these standards so these are all you supposed to understand so management should have some commitment and get the management commitment get support from workforce because when you are going to do some uh, improvement or when you are going to modify the product you need support from your workforce if they are not supporting we cannot go for the quality improvement this is what mrs zuran believed and then after that provide appropriate training so we have to provide the training to the uh, engineers we have to give training to the supervisors we have to give training to the uh, laborers all those things it should be involved in one industries see and then after that maintain and sustain improve improvements so these are all given by zuran so zuran this three concepts in quality planning quality control and quality improvement this three plan this three concepts we are calling as zuran trilogy this is very famous concept still many companies are implementing these zuran concept to improve their quality of the products and quality of the processes see zuran proposed a simple definition for the quality fitness for use one product it has to fit for the use if it is not fit for that particular use then you can say this is not having quality so this is what he has given this definition of quality suggests that it should be viewed from both external and internal perspective that is quality is related to product performance that results in customer satisfaction and freedom from product deficiency which avoids customer dissatisfaction this is what zuran has given the quality group number 3 it is cross buy philip cross buy see here philip cross buy initiated the zero defect program at martin company martin company is the is a aerospace company very famous aerospace company in 1950s in usa so he developed one concepts that concept is called zero defects if there is one single defect he informed that he introduced that that is called no quality or less quality he introduced the zero defects we should not have any defects in a product if it is if it so then only we can say that kind of product is having high quality why you know one thing martin company is famous for aerospace see in the air if a small problem is coming what is the consequences you know very well and this is the reason zero defects is compulsory required in some of the areas see he is the quality, not only the quality consultant he worked as a vice president in one big company and then he is authored for a famous book quality is free he believed that zero defects is a realistic goal 
this goal every company should set and uh, they have to react and then if they are going to achieve zero defects in their product then only craft by say that kind of product is having the quality and uh, define the cost of quality what is the cost of quality expense of non conformance non conformance means it is not conforming the specification or it's not conforming whatever we are we have set up the goal if it is non conforming the goal then it will give some cost that is called cost of quality we define you see here quality means conformance to the requirements what is the requirement it has to conform otherwise you have to pay a lot of money for that that is called cost of quality see requirements must be clearly stated so they can't be misunderstood see what is your requirement in a product or in a process you supposed to define clearly if it is not defining clearly then you can say the quality will not be achieved this is what cross by believe see problems are functions in nature problems must be identified by those individual that cause them so he is one of the big quality guru and many people followed his concept with zero defect concept if you go to japanese companies they implemented this zero defect concept and also his quality is free book still one of the very famous book in quality control area see he has given there is no optimum level of defects see you cannot say uh, we have achieved completely so there is no optimum level so need need continuous improvement continuous improvement continuous improvement to get zero defect this is what he has given cost of quality is the only measurement quality cost data are useful to zero defects is the only performance standard so this is what he has given see here i have given one uh, uh, chart you see cross by is related to conformance to requirements juran is related to quality planning quality is free whose book is this this is philip cross by book and zero defects he only introduced the philip cross by introduced the zero defect concept and you see here theory of profound knowledge is given by deming and chain reaction plan do check and act so this kind of chain reaction and uh, 14 uh, management principles given by deming and quality improvement it is given by zuran and pdca cycle you know very well this is given by deming and then after that he modified this pdca cycle as pdsa cycle as i have given uh, earlier and uh, quality control it is related to zura the next quality guru ishikawa the first guru one guru two guru three i have given deming zura and cross by these people are from usa they are american statisticians and quality gurus but this ishikawa from japan see he studied from uh, university of tokyo and you know he has seen the second world war you know very well how japan affected because of second world war see after the second world war he jumped inside the quality control area and he tried with many quality control area and he was the consultant for many japanese companies because after the second world war japan was in the position to improve their industries to improve their economy so only the way by giving quality products you can attract the world this is what japan believed that so many quality control people came even taguchi also one of the quality guru many quality people came and they introduced different different quality concepts to improve the japanese industries one of the important person is ishikawa he served to japanese industries in so many ways very famous uh, uh, diagram he has given that is called ishikawa diagram this is otherwise called as fishbone diagram some people used to say this is cause and effect diagram you see here this is the goal when you are going to set a goal 
you have to control the quality in different different areas and not only that after that if you are going to divide and many things it will come see this is the cause means there will be some effect the causes may be many things and due to that there will be a effect and this is what cause and effect diagram we are calling but this diagram if we are looking the generally it will look like a fish bone see there will be a center that is the main bone and then after that fish is having some cross bones so similar to that if we are going to introduce some parameters and what are the influence for that particular parameters what are the causes and what are the effects if we are going to point out then automatically it will become like a fish bone so this is what ishikawa introduced using this many of the problem he solved in many of the companies he has given solution for the quality uh, this is the reason still ishikawa name is there in the quality area you see here the another uh, quality group guru number 5 fajan bomb he is also from uh, usa he was born in new york in 1920 he died uh, some 6 years before he introduced the total quality management nowadays we are calling as tqm tqm means what total quality management he believed total quality control is very very important in a company or in an organization what is mean by total quality see they have given some uh, quality planning they have given some pdca cycle they have given some see when you are going to implement quality not only the product we have to implement in the process as well each and every place you have to introduce the quality he has given many concepts which will lead total quality control and then after the total quality management came the total quality control is one of the heart area in total quality management see some of the fajan bombs concept here i have given quality is the customer perception so this is what uh, given by previous gurus but he has given in a different form eh? quality is the customer perception quality and cost are the same not different see the cost involved means quality is involved if cost is not involved then quality will not be there it may be in the product it may be in the process or it may be in the investment or it may be in the salary anything so suppose if you want to improve the quality then you have to pay some cost quality is an individual and team commitment see one person a person who is working in an organization he is supposed to understand about the quality concept and not only that it is a team commitment if each and every one is realizing the quality of a product and process then definitely the team commitment will come and then according to that you can improve the quality of a product and process quality and innovations are interrelated and mutually beneficial and managing quality is managing the business see if you want to manage the business you have to manage the quality quality is a principle that is the prime in a company that is the prime aim of the company is quality quality is not a temporary or you cannot fix quickly it will take some time but you have to implement you have to keep continuous improvement productivity gained by cost effective demonstrably beneficial quality investment implement quality by encompassing suppliers and customers in the system so this is what uh, given by fajan bomb and he is one of the quality guru today i have given uh, five quality gurus and what their quality concepts they are not only contributed in the quality and they have contributed many thing to the society as well and there are many engineers who have contributed to the quality control and quality management i have given only the five uh, quality gurus there are many quality gurus like tagaji shubert uh, and many uh, many quality gurus are there and you you google 
some of the quality gurus name then you will come to know the different quality areas if you are implementing their concepts in your business or in your workplace definitely there will be a improvement in quality and not only that even in your day to day life you can implement their concept to improve your quality thank you for watching my video i will join with you with a, another video